David here with Monofit Training Systems. Today we're going to talk about time under tension training techniques. I did not do that on purpose, that's just how it came out. So a lot of times in certain sports, especially the combat sports, holding a position is one of the most important elements of a fight or of a match. Um, getting there is important as well, but staying there and holding a certain position is equally as important sometimes because a lot of times people are training constant movement and they're not training for static holds and there's a ton of value in that. Uh, the way you find that out real quick is if you're new to the sport of Jiu Jitsu, if you're new to the sport of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and you go to class and you've been training in a regular manner, you're doing curls and bench press and, and tricep extensions and all these things and then you quickly realize that holding a position is probably the hardest thing to do. So I'm going to use dumbbell press as one of the methods to demonstrate what we're talking about, okay? So, I'm going to do five regular dumbbell presses, and then I'm gonna go through a little sequence where I'm doing the static holds and using different techniques, okay? Okay, now we're gonna do a static hold at the top. Another term for this is called rest pause. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna do it where I'm holding at the bottom. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I am gonna do it where I hold at the bottom and the top. One, two, three. 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 Now I'm gonna do it where I just hold one at the bottom and I do a regular range of motion, regular tempo on one side. One, two, three. One, two, three. The next thing I'm going to do is piston. So as one comes down, the other one goes up. So I'll start this side down and I'll piston. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the last one I'll do is just an alternating. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, these techniques here, I'm using 30 pound dumbbells safely by myself. I could probably go up a little bit in weight. Um, I'm looking over that direction because that's where my dumbbells are kept. But I could probably go up a little bit in weight. What you wanna do is find a weight that you can do 10 reps of and it be like 90% effort. Um, you don't wanna make it too easy. So if you start with a weight that you can do 10 reps and it's between 90 to even all out, then this is something where you can go ahead and try that. Um, it's my opinion that you're able to do at least five to eight reps per set using one of these rest, pause, or static hold techniques to get the most out of it. And because this is all about strength and stamina, you wanna take breaks. And what I mean by that is, 
you want to take a long enough break that you're able to do the same amount of reps for pretty much every set. So I would say if you're able to get eight on each side and then you take a one minute break and then you can only do six, I would set the kettlebell or I'd set the dumbbells down and wait another minute and a half or so until you recover. So a lot of times on a workout like this, I will rest as high as three minutes because you want to get your strength back. You want to be able to do all of the reps for all of the sets. And for something like this, I would say four sets would be a great uh, amount of sets for you to get some really good strength in. You are gonna feel sore if you're not used to doing this kind of work and that's what we really want. So give that, give that a try. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.